This is a demonstration of how to download icons from the Noun Project and then use them in Illustrator. I'm here on the Noun Project and I've found this recycling icon that I want to use. You can see that it's a public domain icon. There's no author listed, so I'm assuming it's a government icon, but I don't know that for sure. What I do know is that since it's a public domain, I'm not going to have to cite it. If it was a Creative Commons icon, I would need to cite it to be able to use it for free, but all the icons you find on this site are free to use with a citation. Now it's worth noting that the Noun Project also has this great, um, some great new apps that allow you to connect directly in different programs so that you don't have to download each icon individually, which can become kind of a drag if you're doing a big project with a lot of them. Um, so that's worth noting. That's under the nounproject.com slash apps or easy to find on their site. I'm going to show you the sort of original way of doing it so that you understand how the different files work. So here I am and I'm going to click this download button. If this was a Creative Commons image instead, it would ask me what type of license I want to use, um, whether I want to cite it or not to use it for free. Here it's just giving me the two file types. PNG is an image file which you can use on the web and for other purposes. I'm going to choose SVG in this case because it's the vector format. The difference here is basically the image format versus the vector. While that downloads, I'll be able to find it in Illustrator. So I'm going to go there. And in Illustrator, I'm going to go ahead and open that icon. And I'm going to search for noun. There it is. And you can see that it's an SVG file. I'm opening it here, and you can see the file name up here in the top left in the tab. So this is what the actual file looks like. You can see that um, there are just a couple pieces of it. I can zoom in to see it better. Um, and this one doesn't have a credit line at the bottom because it's not a Creative Commons icon. Most of them will, and that's information they'd want to save. Because of that, I don't necessarily want to um, start editing here um, because this is the original file. So instead, I'm going to copy every, select all the pieces and say copy, or you can do um, drag around all the pieces you want to copy it. Um, you can also do Command or Control A to select everything. And then I'm going to do the, you can either do edit, copy, um, or you can do the keyboard shortcut. And now I'm going to start a new file in Illustrator that will be an actual Illustrator file. I like using a print um, profile for my files in general because it's a, I find that the export um, works sometimes a little bit better than the web-based ones if you're not sure whether you're using it for web or print. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a square size, just for fun to get started. The size itself does not matter too much when you're using vector graphics because you'll be able to export it at any size when you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and um, paste my content there. It's very small, so the first thing I'm going to do is scale it, holding down shift. But I also have to think about what I'm going to use this for. Perhaps I'm going to um, combine this with some other shapes that I'm going to add. Perhaps I'm going to put it on a circle or a star. And in that case, I'd want to start thinking about how I'm going to combine those different shapes. Um, but that is the basics of how you get the noun project icons into your own projects.